Hi there. Today we are going to see how to make efficiency measurements on external power supply. We'll be using an external power supply that has been certified for latest level 6 efficiency standard. For measuring efficiency, we'll be using a PA3000 power analyzer with PowerView software. We will also use a Keithley 2380 electronic load for loading the power supply. Okay, so let's quickly look at that setup. We are using this breakout box to make the connections on the input side easy and safe. The breakout box will enable us to measure current flowing through the device by breaking the circuit and adding PA3000's internal shunt in series with it. We are also measuring the voltage across the input terminals. For the DC output, we'll have PA3000's channel 2 current shunt in series with the electronic load. We'll also measure the DC output voltage across the output terminals. Okay, so we are set up to measure the input of this power supply on the first channel. We are measuring the voltage and the current parameters, right? Um, on the output, the DC side, we are going to measure it on the second channel of the power analyzer. Okay? Let's go to the PowerV software now to measure efficiency. Here, on the setup page, we'll configure our input and output. Let's label group A, that is the first channel, as AC input and group B, that is the second channel as DC output. For the AC input, uh, we'll need VRMS, ARMS, watts, VA, power factor, frequency, and current crest factor. Let's also select harmonics and THD as it is required by the standard. We'll select V harmonics and A harmonics up to 13th order. And let's also select THD measurements right here. For the DC output, we'll keep the measurement simple and select VRMS, ARMS. We should be same as VDC and ADC. Let's also select the output box. We don't need any other measurements, so let's get rid of the ones that we are not required to have. Right? So uh, let's get rid of frequency and all these other measurements here. Now, let's click on Efficiency Configure button right here. Check the input and output groups and click Measure Efficiency. That's it. We are ready to go. Let's go to the Measure page and hit Start. There you go. All our selected measurements have started updating on the screen. We should see our efficiency measurements right here. Now, we can trend the efficiency measurements to monitor it over time with different loads to get a better visual picture. The electronic load is drawing 3 amps right now, which is full load for this power supply. Let's decrease the load by 50% to say 1.5 amps and see how the efficiency changes. You can see the efficiency is actually better at 50% load. You can also notice that on the trend chart, right? Now, we can use this method to sweep the load and check efficiency over the entire range of this power supply. Uh, we can also use the record button here on the top to log these measurements for archiving. Uh, this can be later exported as CSV or an Excel file. That's it for today. So if you want any more information or you have questions or comments about the video, uh, go to tech.com and find more information. I'm Sishang Malap. Thanks for watching.